Hi there, I'm Peter Millard, and in the workshop this week, well, this is part one of our seasonal gift guide where we talk about pocket money stocking fillers, gifts for under £20 for a maker just like you. That's coming up next. So, yes, uh, it is only mid November, and yet here we are being asked by our nearest and dearest about what we might like as a gift for Christmas. Uh, we're also being told in no uncertain terms that we are so difficult to buy for. Um, last year I did a couple of videos, videos 125 and 127, which were very popular where I just put in some, uh, number 125 was just sort of under 20 pounds stocking filler type ideas, and video 127 was a slightly more indulgent main presence. And this is the same that I'm doing this year. Today's video is all about the uh, sub 20 pound pocket money stocking filler uh, type of uh, gifts. Uh, and to start with, we're going to go with one that um, skates just within the £20 price bracket with a pair of Nipex narrow nose locking pliers. These are f uh, Nipex 41, 31, 165. They're actually reading <laughs> off the side here. Um, th these are fantastic. I have these in my uh, main sort of go everywhere drill box, which has become a sort of mini toolkit uh, in its own right. Uh, the, the big advantage of these is because they're Nipex, they're made in Germany, and they are particularly good at the nose. Often when you grab something with a cheaper pair of these and perhaps twist it, which you're not really supposed to, uh, the, the actual jaws will almost cross over like a pair of cross legs, whereas these are much stronger, much stiffer. Uh, and the benefit of having the needle nose ones, of course, is because they're not only narrow, uh, in the sort of pointy bits, but they're also quite slim, quite slender uh, in profile as well, so you can actually get them in places where you might normally only be able to get a spanner. Uh, I really like these, uh, well worth having a set, uh, a pair of these in your toolbox. They're £19.45 or thereabouts, um, so you know, just skating within the £20 limit, but really, really good, really, really nice quality and I wouldn't want to be without mine because they've got me out of a jam on many occasions. Uh, moving on, uh, spring clamps, um, six inch or two inch jaw, 150 mil, 50 mil jaw spring clamps. You can get these kind of things really cheaply and easily off eBay, um, but they're not very good. Uh, they've just got little bits of plastic around the, around the nose, around the jaws there and that can introduce some sort of marking. But what I found is uh, you can buy sort of heavier duty versions, but they're generally a lot more expensive. But ones I've found recently uh, are these ones. That's a kind of a no brand markup, six inch metal spring clamp, heavy duty. You do need to buy 10 of these to get the price down. But if you do buy 10, they come to just under 20 quid, 19.95 or thereabouts. And these are great, uh, much, much better jaw protection on them, much heavier duty rubber, much stronger, stiffer spring in them, uh, and a good rubber grip to them. So really nice, those, those jaws aren't gonna mark your work. And like these little sort of sharp plastic ones in here, uh, and these are just, you know, really nice, really good quality. As I say, you do need to buy a pack of 10 of them uh, to get the good price on them, but it comes to just under a couple of quid each, which is, is really great value. And again, really pleased that I've got mine. Uh, next up, well, we've got something, this is actually a, a rare repeat from last year's uh, video series. There's only a couple and I'm repeating them because they are absolutely worth it. And that's my little Miroc ruler. Uh, the Miroc ruler is, Gorgeous. It's 125 mil, 130 mil long, I think. Um, it has markings every fifth of a millimeter for a mechanical pencil in there. You can put it against the edge of a board and run a line along it very accurately. You can just use it for marking and measuring out uh, with uh, marking points every five mil as well on the main markers. Uh, it costs about 12 or 13 pounds. These are made pretty much to order from Vlad. Uh, at uh, Miroc Woodworks. Uh, you order them from his Etsy store. He's in the Ukraine, I think, and they ship very quickly. 12 or 13 pounds for one of these. Great value. Uh, I would not want to be without mine. They are a, a really, really lovely little thing to have and uh, great value for money. Uh, uh, 12 or 13 pounds plus shipping. So certainly under 20 pounds for the, for the whole thing. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, moving on, uh, you will need a mechanical pencil 
of some kind to go with your Miroc ruler. Um, there, there's no question of that. I've tried sharpening a pencil finally and it will work for a couple of strokes, but not for very long. A mechanical pencil is altogether a better proposition. And I am really liking this particular one at the moment. This is a Pentel Graph Gear. Uh, Pentel Graph Gear 1000, this particular one has a half mil lead in it. Uh, what's special about this one? Well, the best bit is it has a retractable end. So as well as being a regular mechanical pencil, which puts a line down, you can actually retract the end. So if you drop it, nothing happens. Uh, really nicely made, all metal construction, uh, about six pounds for one of these on Amazon. Uh, you can buy packs with all the different lead sizes for about uh, 20 or 30 pounds, I think. But uh, six quid for a, a really nice mechanical pencil well worth the money and highly recommended uh, for that Pentel Graph Gear 1000. Now staying with the marking and note taking theme, I've had all kinds of notebooks over the years, Ooh, don't know who that guy was, um, uh, from the classic sort of moleskin through to the slightly fancier leather bound Cartesio A5 notebooks. These are really nice, come in lovely colours too. Um, they're almost too nice to use to be perfectly honest. Uh, really, really lovely notebooks uh, with lined paper and a little pocket at the back where you can keep your business cards in and that sort of thing. Uh, presents a nice impression, uh, leather bound, so it's a, a really nice thing to have and to own. These are about 12 or 13 pounds on Amazon uh, and I really, really like them for that type of notebook. But the one that I'm liking the most for drawing and note taking are these ones. These are by Rodia. Um, Rodia make, uh, these are just A5 and also A4. Uh, they're, they're a bit like the, if you're old enough to remember, the silver line exercise books you used to get from the corner shop, uh, uh, but with much nicer paper inside and much more robust covers. I don't know what the covers are actually, some kind of plasticky material. No, it's actually paper because it tears, good. Um, but soft back so you can roll them up and shove them in a pocket easily. Uh, they'll either come with uh, a grid, graph paper grid like this or plain, but the ones that I particularly like are what they call the dot book. The dot book has a pattern of dots, a grid of dots uh, over the page. So it's really nice, uh, a really good reference for drawing straight lines or 45 degree lines when you need it, but it sort of disappears away into the page a little bit when you don't. Um, again, just really nice little notebooks to have. The A5 ones start at around six pounds and you can get an A4 version as well uh, if that's something you want. Now I did use one of these uh, when I did my bathroom shelf video a little while back. I did a bathroom shelf in oak uh, and I drew on the page uh, with an ink pen, with a fountain pen. Uh, I bought a couple of fountain pens because I needed to handwrite a note to somebody and I'm not very good. I don't handwrite much of anything these days. And uh, I find ball pens all a bit sort of squizzy. So I hand wrote a note in a fountain pen and I, I don't think I've ever had so many comments about something that I'd used um, it, it, in a shot like that. This uh, fountain pen that I use is a Platinum Preppy. It's super cheap, it's about eight, six or eight pounds, about eight pounds, I think, yeah. Uh, it's a cartridge pen, so really easy to refill. And it's just, a, they're just a nice thing to have. I had a couple of comments from people who said that they'd never used or never seen a fountain pen used before. Uh, you can actually get a disposable, completely disposable pen for even less, I think they're about a fiver. Uh, but this one, Platinum Preppy, is uh, a cartridge pen so you can get refills for it. Uh, and really, really nice to write with. Uh, highly, highly recommended. So moving on from note taking, um, something I actually featured in a video was uh, the Mr. Beams. This is the MB530. This is actually a one of the outdoor lights that I featured in that video. Uh, I actually have this inside because it was a spare one that I got. I got bought a couple of these when I got them. And uh, I've got it in my workshop in the other room uh, just because sometimes I pop in here because it's across the street from where I live. I'll pop in of an evening or overnight and it's pitch black in here because there's no daylight. 
there's a lot of stuff in here, <laughs> generally speaking, uh, and it just, the light comes on to show me where the light switch is. Uh, you know, most of the time, I've been here long enough, I know where the light switch is, but when there's a lot of stuff in the way, um, it's just really, really handy. Uh, a little bit extravagant, extravagant, if you like, having an outdoor one indoors. Uh, you can get an indoors one a little bit cheaper than this one. I think this was about 11 or 12 pounds, and the, in, uh, yeah, the indoor ones are about 10. Uh, but yes, uh, Mr. Beam's uh, MB530, go and have a look at that video uh, if you want a bit more information on it. But really good, really simple, really easy uh, to set up uh, and light because it's just battery powered. There's no wiring, there's almost nothing to do to them. Uh, tool time. One of the things I've used an awful lot is my Nomar hammer. Uh, I get criticised for using a club hammer and all kinds of things, you know, yeah, whatever. Um, but th these are great, these are really nice for, for just whacking, really there, uh, just whacking joints together, uh, sorry, gently encouraging dominoes to fit into their mortises, is what I should be saying. Uh, comes with interchangeable heads, I've got other heads for it somewhere, I don't know where they are. Um, but these are really good, really cheap, about a fiver, uh, and again, well worth having in the workshop, just to, you know, tap things gently together uh, uh, whenever things need a little bit of encouragement. Uh, like I say, about five pounds on Amazon, really good value uh, and well worth having in your toolbox. So one of the things that I do keep coming back to fairly regularly, and I have one in each of the toolboxes, is a simple plumb line. Uh, just a really simple, straightforward little brass plumb line on a piece of string. I don't really need to know the angles of degree of how much a wall is out. What I really need to do is hang this at the top of the wall and see where, how far out it comes to at the bottom. Uh, that's all I need to know. Uh, a, a simple, dedicated plumb line like this uh, is really, really good. This is a simple 100 uh, gram one from Draper, made out of brass, and it costs about eight pounds, eight pounds 50 uh, on Amazon. Uh, well worth having in your toolkit, uh, especially if you're doing installs and that kind of thing. Okay, for this next one, I need you to open wide and say, ah, um, yeah, these are a little bit left to feel. These are tongue depressors, um, basically giant lolly sticks. Uh, what would you use these for? Well, they're almost exactly a sixteenth of an inch, uh, one and a half millimetres thick, so you can use them as little shims or packers. I use them for mixing glue or paint, stirring paint, uh, or if you cut them in half, they make really good glue sticks for spreading glue. Um, I paid less than a pound for a box of a hundred of these. Now, you do need to be a little bit careful because obviously postage, postage charges will push that cost up quite a long way. Uh, but if you're buying something else at the same time, then uh, I bought these at the same time that I was buying some rubber gloves. The post is effectively free. Uh, a hundred box of a hundred of these for less than a pound is incredible value, especially if you cut them in half. Uh, the next thing up is, uh, uh, you know, sometimes you need a knife that's a little bit uh, more precise, let's say, than a simple snap-off blade. Uh, and the ones I really like are the little X-Acto knives with the replaceable blades. I know you can get traditional Swan Morton scalpels and that kind of thing, but what I like about these ones is that you can get a set that has a, a sort of a, a, a chunkier handle, and you can get all kinds of different blades for them. You get a chisel-edged blade, and you get tiny saw blades like this. These are really, really handy if you're ever doing that kind of fiddly, fine work. I'm just trying to get these in focus there. there we go. Um, very, very useful if you're doing any kind of sort of fiddly, fine work. Uh, and really good value for money. A, a, a complete set, not these particular ones, but there's a complete set that I found which has both handles and a selection of blades for about seven pounds. Uh, fantastic value for money. Really good, and obviously the blades are widely available from all kinds of places. So next up, I'm going to talk about glue. This is Polyvine Polyten. Um, I know glue is a stocking filler. Well, try it. Uh, all I can ask is that you try it. Uh, pretty much everything I've ever made has been glued together with Polyvine Polyten. I have never had a glue joint fail. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it grabs quickly, 
that sometimes that isn't what you want, but it grabs quickly and is hand level within 10 minutes or so. Uh, great value for money if you buy enough of it. In a one litre size like this, it is relatively expensive. It's about 11 or 12 pounds, but you can get five litres for about 30 quid, which is great value for money. If you buy one of these, then you can just keep topping it up uh, from the bigger uh, the bigger pot, of course. Uh, I know a couple of people in the, in the messages, in the uh, comments of the videos have said they've been tight bond three people all their lives, but tried this. Uh, and don't want to go back. Um, I'm not trying to get you to change brands, but give it a try. I really, really like it. Fantastic adhesive, uh, and I am very happy with it. As I say, pretty much everything I've ever glued together has been with Polyvine and Polyten, and I haven't had a single joint failure. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about <laughs> outdoor IP65 LED security lights. Now, Yes, I know, it's not really what you might want <laughs> as a Christmas present, but bear with me on this. Um, this is by, and I'm going to mangle the name here, Viu Groom, V-I-U-G-R-E-U-M, Viu Groom? I don't know, whatever. Um, it's a, a 50 watt, 6,000 lumen, 6,000 lumen, uh, that's one and a half times as bright as every one of these ceiling lights I've got here. Um, uh, it's IP65, so it's outdoor rated. Uh, I'm going to recommend this as a work light. These are absolutely fantastic because they've got the little sort of bracket on it. You can set it out at all kinds of different angles really quickly and easily. Obviously, if you do want to use it as an outdoor work light uh, and maintain the IP65 uh, status, then you probably have to get inside it and, and rewire it with a longer cable because it does just come with a uh, three, 300 mil, 350 mil length of cable on it. I've just got it wired into a sort of crude little block here, just so that it, um, uh, just so that I can show you how bright it is. Uh, it is just staggering, 6,000 lumens. Let me put this on. Whoa. Yeah, that is bright. I mean, absolutely incredible. Uh, so yes, I, you can position this to almost any angle that you fancy. You can stand it on an end if you like. Uh, how much would you expect to pay for a, let's switch this off actually. God, oh, that is bright. Um, how much would you expect to pay for a 6,000 lumen LED work light? Uh, try just 16 pounds. This is a really nicely made die cast solid piece. So it's going to be plenty tough. Uh, 16 quid for an LED lamp like this that you can use as a work light. Absolutely fantastic value. Uh, I'm seriously toying with the idea of buying a couple of these to try as video lights, to be honest. We need a bit more diffusion and things from them, but they're so good. 16 quid for a, a, a really nicely made, heavy duty, uh, 6,000 lumen work light. Uh, and I'm definitely gonna get another one of those uh, to try them out. Let me just unplug this for now. So last of all, we come to this. It's a, a Weera, I'm gonna get this right, a Weera Craft Form Compact 28. Lots of Ks in that name. Um, it's a, a not a entirely stubby, but a small, uh, fairly compact um, little screwdriver bit set, which has a couple of tricks up its sleeve. All the bits are stored in the handle. You get six, uh, yeah, half a dozen with it. A uh, couple of nice Phillips ones there, just for Gosforth Handyman, my pal Andy. <laughs> uh, and, and the other really clever trick is, as well as being just a fairly convenient, stubby little hand-held screwdriver bit holder like this, it also has another trick up its sleeve. Whoa. Yep, it has a little extension built into it, so it can be a, a longer reach driver as well as a relatively short, stubby one. Uh, the six bits that you get with it are the usual range of uh, two flatheads, uh, two posies and two Phillips in number one and number two sizes. Uh, it costs a hair under uh, the 20 pound limit at 19 pounds 99, but fantastic value for many. If you're gonna keep a general purpose bit holder like this in your tool bag, this is the one to keep, I think, because it is robust uh, and we're all familiar with Weera quality. So that's it for our roughly dozen or so stocking filler ideas from less than a penny each to just a penny shy. 
of £20. Uh, there's probably something there for everyone. These are just little things that I've found throughout the year uh, which I found exceptionally useful and uh, hopefully you'll find them useful too. Don't forget to check out video number 125 as well for last year's gift ideas. All the links to all these products and last year's are all in the video description below. Those are mostly affiliate links so I do get a few pennies back if you do make a purchase using one of those links. So uh, you'll be supporting the channel at no cost to yourselves and thank you very much indeed if you do do that. But that's it for this week. I hope you find it interesting. I hope you find it useful and I'll see you next time. Take care.